Hi, my name is Chris Pisani, and I'm the senior winemaker here at ZD Wines. I'm coming to you from ZD Wines Cellar, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about um, Abacus. Uh, we are about to release our 22nd bottling of Abacus, which is amazing to me. Um, this is a wine now that will uh, have 28 vintages of our reserve Cabernet in one bottle. And so with this release, obviously in better times, we would be out there having lunches and sitting down with you guys and getting a chance to actually sit and enjoy and taste and tell a little bit of the Abacus story. But um, times being what they are, we thought we'd put together this short um, brief video that kind of covers the what, the how, and the why of Abacus. Um, I know many of you may be somewhat familiar with the wine. Abacus, in its simplest definition, is a Solera-style, multi-vintage blend of every reserve Cabernet Sauvignon made at ZD Wines going back to 1992, which was our first vintage of a reserve, reserve Cabernet. And we use that term Solera a little bit loosely in that it does describe um, a multi-vintage blend of wine in which we have a blend that we bottle a certain portion of every year and that wine gets returned to barrel. And so that's about as far as we take the Solera term. But the more interesting part of this is why would we, why would you want to go ahead and put together a blend of multi-vintage Cabernet? And, and this goes back to really the origin story of Abacus. And, you know, the idea for Abacus came many years ago when Brett and Robert and family were on a retreat and as with any family retreat, there were a lot of bottles of ZD wines open and a lot of wines being tasted. And this is something where great ideas are born. And if you know anything about ZD wines and what we're about, I mean, there's many takeaways, but I think two of them are that we really believe in being innovative and doing different things. And we also believed in the art of blending. And so when they sat around the table 20 something years ago, tasting these older, um, ZD Cabernets and we're reflecting over how, you know, some of them age incredibly well and they gain this amazing complexity. But there was also a trade-off with these wines that as they age, you lose a little bit. Of, there's always a little bit of something that you, you lose. And we recognized early on that, you know, wines that were made from various lots or vineyard sites, more often than not, and we would say mostly, will make a better wine than the individual components. And so with those ideas in mind and sitting down and tasting those older wines, they made the next leap that really took it to one of the questions that we as winemakers are asked all the time. And that is, you know, how long do I leave this Cabernet? How long will it age? When should I drink it? And you can see it isn't really that big of a leap when you're sitting down with multiple vintage of Cabernet at varying degrees of aging and asking yourself the question, what if we were able to have the best of both worlds and we can have this beautiful complexity of an aged Cabernet that also doesn't lose a little bit of that forward fruit and intensity of a younger wine. And that's really where the idea for Abacus was born. And it was after that, that Robert decided to put together some blends of multiple vintages of reserve Cabernet and doing some tastings, in fact, many tastings internally to determine what is this perfect balance. And on a personal note, I could say, you know, I started at ZD Wines right around the time that the idea for Abacus was born. And I remember, and Brett will always give me a hard time for this, that I kind of originally thought the idea was kind of, kind of silly and I, di I didn't quite get it. And it didn't take very long in getting into the making of this wine and putting it together. And of course now 28 bottlings, or sorry, 22 bottlings later to see that this really was um, an amazing concept. And so, you know, how, how do we do this, you know? And so without giving away too many secrets, I'll give you kind of the outline because I think generally we talk about this wine so much and while we would really love to be opening a bottle and sharing a glass of it to really have you experience what, a, what an amazing, unique wine this is, I think we're, we're stuck with what we have. So I'll do my best to describe what we do. And I always like to go back to the first bottling. Um, the first bottling was released in 1999 and it was the only time in the life of the wine where we actually had the individual vintages separate. This is one of the things that people are most confused with. They think we still have all of these individual wines and every year we sit with 22 or 21 wines and come up with this blend. Well, that's not true. It was, it, right before we bottled the first bottling, we had the 1992 Reserve Cabernet and through the 1998 separate. And that was when we sat and did all of these tastings and we looked at you know how much of the older part of the blend, how much of the younger part of the blend. And that was when we came up with what we thought was the perfect mix of this incredibly 
incredible complexity with a little bit, just enough of this infusion of younger wine. And so at that point, that was when the Solera was actually made. So those seven vintages were blended together as one lot and we took about 15% and we bottled that 15% and then the remaining portion of that Solera went back to barrel for another year. And so basically that was the, that was the process of how Abacus grew over the years. And so if you, as you fast forward to the Abacus 22nd bottling, which we're releasing right now, when we started with the Solera that came out of, came from the cellar, it had the 1992 through the 2018 vintage reserve Cabernet. And it was the 2019 Cabernet that was in barrel that was gonna provide this new infusion of younger, of younger wine. And so once again, we sit with the Solera, we, we play around with how much of that younger wine we're gonna, we're gonna add in. It gets a little bit more complicated because we also do have a um, reserve Cabernet from 18 that's been two years in barrel. And um, in, in this case would have been the 17 that was in its third year about to be bottled. So without getting into too much detail, we do, there's some flexibility in terms of what the youngest wine going into the blend, but that's not so important because really what's important is getting the balance of the amount of those younger wines into this Solera that has over the years grown into this incredibly complex wine. And I say this, when, you, when we sit and do these tastings, it's the one wine at ZD, when you walk into our vineyard view room upstairs and we've pre-poured all the wines on the tables, the room is just overwhelmed with the aroma of, of the wine. And it's, I, I've never experienced that before with a wine. It, it is just an incredibly unique, unique, um, product at that point. Um, and why the name Abacus? And so the wine was named Abacus because um, you know, we had this concept of multi-vintage and that we would be you know, adding a new vintage to the Solera every year. And so we needed a way to really kind of you know, keep track of all this. And you know, we recognized early on that it was gonna be a little bit difficult to deal with this on the bottle and the label. And so the concept came up to name it Abacus based on an ancient um, counting device. Um, and each bottle um, and it was really, I think, a brilliant idea because, you know, rather than getting really verbose and having to describe what I'm describing right now, the abacus gave us a really good way for us to be able to keep track of the wines that were going in there. And so if you get the chance, we won't do it today because it takes a little bit of doing, but you get the chance to come out or meet with us out on the road, we'll be more than happy to show you how to read an abacus. But the medallion on every bottle, every bottling that we have re-stamped every year um, counts through the different vintages. And it's really the way that we could immediately look at it and know that, yeah, this is Abacus 22 with the 1992 through the 2019 vintages. Uh, vintages. And it really was, again, I think a brilliant, brilliant idea to come up with a way to, to keep track of that. How's that? <laughs> Good enough, right? Okay, well, enough of talking about Abacus. At this point, I think, again, I'll say again, it would be great to be sharing a glass with many of you that will um, hopefully be seeing this, but um, we'll save that for, for another time. But I have in front of me here the 20-second bottling that we just um, cracked open, and I think, you know, it does, even just sitting here, you know, I can kind of, with the glass a couple of feet away from me, I could waft some of those aromas over, and it is just, just incredible. And, you know, one of the things, People always ask, and I'm sitting in front of the pyramid right now, is, you know, you talk about the Reserve Cabernet spending three years in barrel and returning the Solera every year. It should, we should mention that, you know, keep in mind that, you know, we're not, when the Solera, the way the Solera is aged, as it is behind us here in older um, punchins, you know, we're not really looking to add more of the wood component. You know, we believe the barrels are an excellent vessel to age, and they give us so much, you know, other things like concentration, slow oxidation, um, but, you know, we feel like the wines in their earlier stages have picked up enough of the barrel that by the time we, you know, put the Solera down, we do want to have it in neutral barrels. And so while the, the oak aromas on the wine are really interesting, I mean, you get some of these like, you know, kind of sweet cognac and vanilla and these toasty aromas, it isn't overwhelming. And like with all of our wines, and this is the trick when we sit down to do this blending, is that it really... You know, it sounds almost like a cliche, but it really is about the balance. I mean, this wine, we have to be extremely careful. We don't want any of the rough edges. You know, that young wine sometimes from the vineyards that make the reserve, they can be pretty tannic. That when they're youthful, they're you know really explosive with their intensity of fruit. And so when you think of that, we're trying to bring just a little bit of that back into the Solera, but without overdoing. And that becomes really the delicate balance as we put this blend together. But um, in terms of aromas, I mean, I could sit here and rattle them off, but I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. But I think on the palate, what you should notice too is that, you know, think, close your eyes and just think about those 
28 vintages in there. I mean, I kind of always like to think back with Abacus as like a time counter. I mean, it really is a time capsule of all those vintages. And as you're tasting it and those layers of fruit and well-blended oak and complexity are, are kind of cresting over your palate, it's like, it, it's amazing to think of what it is in your glass that you're actually tasting. And so with that, I think I will close. Um, I hope you do, and there, we do get an opportunity to come down and open a bottle with you and taste it and um, tell the story and enjoy.